Hi, welcome to Gigi's Altered Objects. Thank you for visiting my channel. Today I have another altered bottle for you. In the beginning, I was going to actually use gears and clock workings to create more of a steampunk project, but as I got farther and farther in, it was screaming seashells. So this is the end product. After a coat of gesso, what I did was paint with vintage photo. This is one of the Ranger Tim Holtz acrylic paints. And I covered the cork, the whole bottle. Then I cut, trimmed the zipper and put the zipper in place. Then covered the rest of the bottle with the cheesecloth. And that's when, at the point that I decided it really wanted it to be more of a seaside bottle. I put some twine around the neck and a little piece of seam binding and then finished off with shells on the top and then throughout the bottle. You'll have to excuse my hands if you notice they're blue. <laughs> I'm not turning into a smurf. I was playing with color coloring my clay before I baked it and I've been reading some articles about using ink, alcohol inks to color your clay. So I'll let you know how that turned out. I, I tried it with the Distressed Ink, another one of Tim Holtz products. So when I'm finished with that bottle, I'll show you how that went. Well, if you like my project, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. If you would like to see other of my projects, you can visit my blog, www.ggsalteredobjects.com. And thank you. Happy crafting.